cookie cutter, it's so hard. the worst I've got like a really um exciting like smoothie bowl planned and then like my two my lunch and my dinner are gonna be like more Halloween-y themed as well not as like artistic as this in the smoothie bowl but still like you know Halloween themed and basically foolproof so they won't look as rubbish as this but I'm happy with this one like this is actually so cute although like the icing the little um, cake sprinkles that I used I think they're just cheap ones from home the wagons um, the colours like bleeding onto the ghost and now it looks like he's got a hangover but this ghost did not turn out very well this one I knew this one wouldn't look as cute <laughs> oh my god look at that I'm actually obsessed so I have this habit of after breakfast eating something like really sweet whether it's like a couple of Halloween chocolates or some like baking me and Rebecca, my housemate, are doing a lot of baking at the moment. We baked these cupcakes, these packet cupcakes, Mr. Kiplin, chocolate, like Halloween ones, but they were absolutely rank. And then we've also got some Halloween cookies. I really need to tidy the kitchen, but I'm procrastinating because I can't be bothered. And I think it's a good habit because it means like, you know, at least I know I have a good appetite. There's nothing worse than not being hungry. Like, I just hate it. But yesterday, okay, it looks disgusting, but I baked a rocky road last night at like 10 p.m. I was waiting for my friend to FaceTime me. So in the meantime, I just baked some rocky road. And also, Rebecca is allergic to marshmallows, and I don't actually really like marshmallows. I think they're rank. So I made it without marshmallows. So it's just butter, chocolate, cookie, and maple syrup. So it doesn't look very interesting, especially without the marshmallows. But I think once I cut it up, you'll be able to see like the chocolate. And I think even without the icing, it still looks cool. So I'm gonna have some of that. Um, I literally had my breakfast like two minutes ago, but I'm gonna have some of this now because, yeah, like I said, I always just crave something sweet after my breakfast, which I don't mind. It's the only thing that's like foolproof to bake and tastes just as good every single time. I mean, it's not really baking. You just like, I melt it in a bowl over a saucepan of boiling water. p.m. and I'm gonna have my lunch because I'm hungry. The only like Halloween-y, autumn-y kind of thing that I could find was orange carrot soup. It's not like super autumn-y but yeah I mean it's orange so it will do. If I was like really fussy with this video I just wouldn't end up like getting anything. Um, and then I'm gonna toast a little seeded bread roll as well. I'm using my um, home sense bowl that I got uh, I think it was one year ago if not two. But I'm gonna put soup in this looks disgusting i've already grilled my bread roll but i did burn it which is really annoying but oh well i also bought these like little pumpkin bites from aldi they're vegan but i don't know like what i'll eat that with because i was going to eat with my lunch but if i'm being honest i just can't bother to cook them so i'm thinking that i'm just going to snack on them mm. I still haven't cleaned the kitchen. I'm 
my little trick or treat bowl. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. This isn't, it wasn't as orange as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like this orange, like as orange as the writing, cause I'm stupid, but I'm sure it will taste nice. I'm gonna try some of this soup cause I just have a bad feeling I'm not even gonna like it. Even if I don't like it, I'll still eat it. Oh, actually, that's not bad. It just tastes like tomato soup. Mmm. Or minestrone. -y. That's not that bad. It just, I think it's the coriander in it that's horrible. It just has this weird tangy taste. Maybe it is the carrots, actually. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Positively splendid. I have also got my smoothie bowl to eat and my pasta. Um, I think just because I had so much Rocky Road earlier, I'm just so full. I'm also gonna have some of this, which is orange, so does it count as Halloween-y? But you know it's good when I buy it in plastic bottles because I usually refuse to buy plastic bottles. I only get like cartoned ones just to kind of like help my, the waste I leave on the planet. I just spent like an hour or so doing my nails. How can I show you how sparkly they are? That's with like a little barrier molten metal polish, I think. But yeah, it's smoothie bowl time now. Um, I'm gonna make a black smoothie bowl and then just put like a couple of Halloween toppings on. Definitely gonna have those frozen pumpkin bites later on today at some point. I also got these fruits. I actually, I Googled them and I still don't really understand what they are, but they were like Halloween themed, so I thought they kind of counted. Um, I was gonna put them on the top of the smoothie bowl, but I have a feeling I might just have it for like a dessert later, whether I have like a couple more Rocky Roads or whatever. I could just have this with or as a dessert. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of black ice in, in the smoothie bowl to make it black. I'm hoping that'll work and it won't taste too weird. And then I've got just like my normal seeds. I don't know which ones I'll use, but I'll just kind of like wing it. Um, and yogurt as usual as a topping, but I've been putting these on the top. I honestly have one of these every day. I get through a pack of 10 every time we do, like every week that we do the food shop, because we do a food shop like every 10 days. It's not like every week. But yeah, I eat one of those every day. There's either a ghost face, a witch face, or like a Frankenstein face. But yeah, I'll put those on the top of the smoothie bowl. And then we've also got these. Um, I've also got some like eyeball icing decorations as well that I'll probably put in. But I thought against the yogurt, these skulls would look really cool. Um, not these, they honestly taste like cat food, it's so weird. And then I don't think I'm finding any use for these sprinkles, maybe the green ones. Where are those eyes? See, they'll go on like the black um, half of the smoothie bowl. And then where I'll put the yogurt on the other half, I can put the skulls. <laughs> a lot of icing. It's not the black that I wanted, but compared to the light, light purple that this originally was, I'm actually happy with this colour. It does look very dark, so I'm happy.
my eyeballs, the chocolate ghost, the green sprinkles. I'm happy with that. I finally, finally, why can't I talk at the moment? I finally gave the kitchen a little bit of a tidy. I still have like washing up stuff to do, but I'm just gonna like do that another time. I am actually really hungry after my smoothie bowl. I think maybe it just wasn't filling enough. Um, so I will have my dinner, which is pasta, a special kind of pasta, but I'll show you shortly. Um, I will have my dinner shortly in an hour or so. If I don't go to the pub for like a Coke with Rebecca, I might do that. Um, but yeah, I've just put only four of these because there's only 10 in here. I don't want to eat them all. So I just put four of these in the oven. Um, just as like, you know, a little snack. And then it's not like Halloween themed, but I'm just gonna have some Scottish oat cakes and some hummus. But yeah, I'll show you these when they're out of the oven, but I mean, they just look like this. It's nothing exciting, but they're cauliflower pumpkin and chili bites. So, you know, they're like autumnal. Obviously the crackers aren't, but I wasn't really planning on having crackers. It's only because I'm so hungry. I think I should have put a banana in my smoothie bowl, but I thought that it'd be too filling because I was so full this morning, but I'm not full now, so I honestly just want to scoff my face. My ultimate goal, like 24 seven, is to just eat as much as I comfortably can. That way I feel like I'm eating enough and don't run the risk of under eating. This is my little pre-dinner snack. I never have cute little like um, snacks like this, like just a mix of everything. I've got olives, hummus, my little um, pumpkin bites and some crackers. I don't know what I'll do next to be fair. I will either just chill on the sofa for a bit or I'll collect Rebecca from work and we might go to the pub for a little drink and then I'll have my dinner. Okay, it's now like almost midnight and we've only just got back from the pub. We were allowed to stay a little later after 10 p.m. because obviously I work there. So I wasn't technically being served drinks, but I didn't know that we'd be so late. Otherwise I obviously would have um, had my dinner earlier, but I don't really mind. I'm so excited for my dinner. I've got this organic black bean spaghetti, which is obviously like Halloween-y, autumn-y kind of vibes. I'm gonna use my black plate, because again, that's more like Halloween. It's gonna be really weird using a black plate and having black food. I also think I'm gonna have some tomato sauce on top of it. I was gonna cook some leek, but honestly, it's so late. I don't think I can be bothered. Didn't end up using any of these fruits, but I can try them during the week. The little Halloween themed things. I don't even know what they are. By the way, everything I have eaten today is from Aldi. Because that's where I do my shop at the moment. So where the water looks kind of purple because the pasta's black. This is so weird. Isn't it weird? Yeah, it's so weird. Oh, you're so cute. It's made the water purple and it's like a lilac-y colour now, but I just tried a bit and it's actually so nice. Mm -hmm. 